tare tano katika barabara ya lenana saa tatu nusu za usiku milio ya risasi yasikika kwa mujibu wa baadhi ya watu waliokuwepo dakika chache baadaye gari aina ya Mercedes Benz nambari ya usajili KAL 0070W lapatikana pembeni mwa barabara ndani ya gari mwili wa mfanyabiashara mashuhuri Jacob Juma Lukoba mwenye umri wa miaka 45 ukiwa na alama saba za risasi muda mfupi baadaye polisi wanawasili na kuburuta gari hili hadi kituo cha polisi cha Karen eneo la mauaji linasalia mahame bila ya polisi mwili wa Jacob Juma unapelekwa katika chumba cha kuhifadhi ya maiti cha siti Mwendo wa saa nane kasoro dakika moja za usiku. Hey, Taarifa za polisi zinaonekana kukingana na nyayo zake dakika za lala salama. At 19:34 hours the deceased vehicle is captured opposite Westlands bus terminal. Terminal is driving along Wayakiwe to an CBD. With the drive with the deceased on the driver seat and a passenger, a passenger and a passenger seat. At 19:36 hours, the deceased is captured along Wayakiwe near Villa Rosa, Nairobi, driving towards Uhuru Highway. At 19:38, he is captured at Kenyatta Uhuru Highway near Minister of Tourism, driving along Uhuru Highway towards Mombasa Road. Another time we have a passenger on the passenger uh, driver seat. At 1953 the, it, he is captured at Hull Highway and near the Central Park along Hull Highway towards Wayakiwe. At 1955 he is captured again at Nyerere Road near the Children's Traffic Park along Nyerere Road towards Kenyatta Avenue. And in this time he is all alone from the time is captured uh, uh, near the central park at 2014 hours he is captured at agus kothek road along agus kothek road near a uh, center towards ole odume road the last that we've captured of him uh, on video is at 2207 along lenana lenana road Tangu kuuawa kwa Jacob Juma meza ya uchunguzi ya KTN imekuwa ikikisia kwamba aliuawa kwengine kabla ya mwili wake kuburutwa na kupelekwa katika barabara ya Ngong. Usiku wa leo tunaangazia saa 12 za mwisho za mfanyabiashara huyo. Licha ya kukutana na wakili wake na kula chakula cha mchana na rafiki zake meza yetu ya uchunguzi inaangazia saa sita alizosalia nazo kabla ya kuuawa na ambazo polisi hawakuzifuatilia aidha kwa kutotaka kuchunguza au kutojua Alhamisi tarehe tano Mei akiwa peke yake na gari aina ya Mercedes Benz Jacob Juma anawasili katika mlango huu hapa Brookside Avenue saa kumi na dakika kumi na tano hiyo wiki wakati mpaka kuja kuwawa friday eh? kuanzia monday mpaka friday kuna alikuja na mti yote hapa na mdarafiki yake hiyo wiki hiyo wiki yote Askari Gongo anasema kuwa Juma alikuwa na mazoea ya kujituliza katika nyumba hii hapa Roses Apartment orofa ya pili ambapo alitoka baada ya kutizama taarifa zote za habari za saa moja na saa tatu siku kila siku kabla ya kuelekea nyumbani kwake mtaani Karen 
Ni katika jumba hili ndipo Juma alikuwa akiwapokea wageni wake na watu wengine mashuhuri miongoni mwa wakili wake wanasiasa waziri mmoja na watu wengine mashuhuri So anakujanga kufanya nini anatulia tu ama anafanya kazi anafanyanga nini Tuna kazi zake huwa anaendeleza hata akiwa hapo mm. Wengine anakuwa hapo na wageni hapo mm -hmm. eh. Wageni aina nani na eh, kuna mtu anaitwa Ahmed Nazir Mhm mm Amejaa kuwa hapo Mhm mm Hata hiyo wiki amejaa kuwa hapo Mhm mm Eh tuna Hata watu wengine watu wa serikali za na wanango walikuwa hapo Nani hao ndio bu niambie majina Kuna hiji na Wamalu amejaa muona hapo Mhm mm Eh ndani mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ya jumba hili ambalo kwa mujibu wa askari gongo wote wawili wa mchana na usiku lilikuwa kama nyumba na afisi yake marehemu ulikuwa pia na msichana mmoja wa kazi pekee saa kumi na mbili na dakika ishirini na saba alamisi hiyo kabla ya kuondoka kwa ke Jacob Juma msichana mmoja aliwasili na teksi katika jumba hili na kumwarifu mlinzi kuwa alikuwa mgeni wa Jacob Juma chumba nambari tisa dereva wa teksi anaelezea zaidi Jacob was my real real friend mwenye kwa chama brada mwenye kwa chama brada hai ni niuma sana ili niuma sana ili niuma zaidi zaidi kwa hivyo nipatia kazi ya taxi sana kwa hivyo nipatia kazi ya taxi sana kwa hivyo nipatia kazi ya taxi sana kama hee that's why it's refer sana kwenye kazi ya taxi na hivyo kwa mtrust mii hata kuwa ke nige njia mali kwa nipatia kazi ya anywhere ni zaidi kwa hivyo nipatia kazi ya taxi Mungu wakiwa wawilindani ya chumba dakika 45 baadae saa moja na dakika 45 juma aliondoka chumba ni mwake ya kiandamana na mwana mke uyo mwana mke ambaye tumebai ni jina lake ni Sherin Kitonga kando na kunasa sauti yake wakiwa kwenye mazungumzo na dereva wa taxi iliyomleta Kitonga anadai kuwa Jacob Juma alimwacha katika timu ya jiji la Nairobi dakika tano baada ya kuondoka katika chumba hichi cha Rose Apartment kabla ya kuelekea nyumbani kwake South B dakika mbili baadae Usiku wa kuwa wa kwake Jacob Juma mvua ilikuwa ikinyesha hivyo basi kuwa vigumu kuelezea ni vipi marehemu alifika mjini kwa kutumia dakika tano licha ya misongamano ya magari ilivyo ada ya kila siku katika barabara ya waiyaki kati ya mwendo wa saa mbili za usiku hadi saa tatu nusu polisi wameshindwa kuelezea jinsi alivyoelekea hadi Ngong kabla ya kuwa wa kwake kando na kushindwa kutoa picha za CCTV za barabara ya Ngong Meza yetu ya uchunguzi imebaini wazi kuwa siku hiyo hiyo mwendo wa saa mbili na dakika ishirini usiku huo kabla ya kuwa wa kwa Jacob Juma alimpigia simu rafiki yake na kumweleza kuwa alikuwa amempigia simu balozi mmoja wa mataifa ya nje humu nchini kumwelezea maswala ya ufisadi na jinsi ambavyo walinuia kukutana keshoe kwa mazungumzo na ushahidi zaidi kuhusu sakata ya Eurobond Siku hiyo hiyo kabla ya kuwa wa Jacob Juma alimpigia simu kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga akitaka mazungumzo ya faraga naye Last time I spoke to him was on that fateful day. 
he called me at around uh, midday and told me that he had some very important matter to discuss and therefore he was inviting me for a lunch date. Unfortunately, I was committed uh, elsewhere and I told him I could not meet him but we would meet maybe in the evening because I told him after lunch I was going to parliament and uh, that would go until five o'clock. That was the last time that we spoke. The following in the morning, we came, uh, woke up to this very disturbing news. Bada ya kuwa na matumaini ya kukutana na wawili hao, Jacob Juma hakuwa kijua kwamba huo ndiyo ulikuwa mwisho wake duniani kwani watu fulani walianza kumwandama kwa karibu mara ya mwisho usiku huo huo juma kwa njia ya simu alimweleza rafiki yake kuwa alikuwa chumbani mwake huko Westlands na jinsi maiti yake ilipatikana katika barabara ya Ngong ni jambo la kushangaza Usiku huo mwendo wa saa tatu nusu kwa mujibu wa polisi mwili wa Jacob Juma ulipatikana hapa ndani ya gari lake Tukio la mauaji ya kinyama lililowashangaza wa Kenya Mwanadada aliyekuwa naye usiku huo anasikika hapa akiwa na hofu Hello sema Tumekuwa kinipigia, ulikuwa nasema? Habari ya siku mingi Mzuri, yaki mingi siku zangu zimekuwa na stress Ula nikumbuka kweli? Eee Hai Kuna kunya maza na ayo? Hai Isi, mile cup guy Eee Eee, sija nya maza Eee, ulikuja ukaitwa kuku kwa polisi? Eee, hata tulitwa the same day, niliamba tu uliitwa Tulitwa the same day? Eee, Wednesday wao ulienda kwa sangapi kitu kama saa nene na nikatoka saa nane oo oh, awa jamani wali kuambia tamiwa wali 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 niita ee eh, pia mwa niliendo wali kuita ama ee eh. tulienda ee eh, nilienda nilienda <laughs> manzei kitu ina nipea stress ee eh. ni kuulize ee eh. eh. wee ulieka juma exactly wapi uni wapi wali kushikishia hapo town hapo unona hapo karibu na tratoria unajia tratoria ee eh, tratoria ee hapo ndi ya likushikishia hapo ee eh. na ilikuwa exactly sangapi like 10 minutes to 8 oh kitu kama 7.50 ee eh, hapo yeah. by 8.12 ee eh. nilikuwa kwa nyumba ee eh? by 8.12 by 8.12 nilikuwa kwa nyumba ee eh. wawo well, nisema unaichi na unaichi hiyo saidi ya south b south b mm wa mimi hata mimi mimi niliitwa mm eh lakini hata mimi siku siku jua uko huko watu wamekuita eh eh lakini sasa tunajua tu ngeweza tafutana eh so walikuuliza nini ah mimi najua mimi wanajua mimi ndio nilikuwa na Juma hiyo 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 jioni hiyo ndio nilikuwa nataka kujua uhusiano yangu na Juma eh mm mm eh kitu kama hiyo but walikuuliza about mimi ah hapana wako wako niuliza about wewe Hawa kuuliza mtu anulipeleka hapo? Hawa kuniuliza. Wanaweza kutoka kuuliza na wewe ndio ulinipeleka? Unajua sasa hiyo wao walikuwa na hiyo data, so walikuwa na hiyo call log zote huko. Mm. Eh. Unaona? Wa? Eh. So ulikuwa unataka kuniuliza nini? Nani mimi? Mm. Nilikuwa nataka tu kujua kama ulienda huko pia wewe. Oh, eh na kwambi ulikuwa unanifikia mara nyingi. Unajua nilikuwa na watu na siku taka wajue. Oh, ulikuwa na watu. Mm. Ok, hiyo ni sawa, mi nilienda huko, bato waleniambia, bato waneza niita waki nitaka Ntia nini? Mhm Niki na kwa mbiki tu ina ni stress, ni unajua mi nikuwa ni mekatana na yetu yu siku Amja hii miti na juma bado, tangu mbisikutu Imagine. yote Imagine Hamu kwa hii miti kwa maisha? Aa uh -uh. Hmm Sasa, na kwa mbiki ni pia stress Hiyo ni, hiyo ni kawaida, hiyo, hiyo mambo ufanyika Eh, hii, 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 hii ni pia shida hivyo Eh? Ninajua sasa sijui labda mimi ndio nilikuwa na hewa mwisho. Eh. 
Wenyewe kama kwa kwa mwa kweli kama hiyo siku mm. na nasema pengine yule ulikuwa na hewa mwisho mm. eh naona ndio nasema alikushukishia aliku alikuacha hapa tratoria mm yeye yeah, 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 na kaenda tratoria na gani hiyo wabera mm, i think ni hapo hapo karibu na steers ni wabera street oh hapo karibu na steers mm Okay. Jana jana nilikuwa tunampeleka airport huko I mean Wilson. Mm. Mm. Ulikuwa na yeye. Jana. Eh hey, jana jana nilimpeleka Wilson. Ah oh, ulikuwa? Sasa ndakozaje bwana? Mimi bana niliogopa hata stay kutokea mali popote hapo. Kwa nini sasa uniogopa na ogopa? Ju unajua mimi sasa hiyo maisha sitaki watu wa, waijue. Sasa unaona vile imetokea kila mali na mimi sikutaka ati watu wa jeni nilikuwa na na yeye as in yani hiyo maisha tu hata si ati yeye particularly eh yeah. mm ndio sasa mimi niko na wazazi wangu ni wakali watoto wazazi au oh, wazazi wako mm wale bado naishi na wa parents imagine eh yeah. sina kwa mimi niko na stress wewe bado ni mtoto wa mama eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway maisha ni hivyo eh lakini nilikuwa nataka tu Nilikuwa nataka tu kuconfirm kutoka kwako ni wapi exactly ile ulimwacha tao. Mm, ni hapo. Hapo tu na confirm kwani pia wewe unafanya investigation ya nini? Kwa sababu unajua hata mimi nikirudi huko mm. unajua waliniuliza vitu mbovu bwana. Mm. Eh? Sasa unajua akiniuliza next time, wakiniuliza mm. kama tuliongea na wewe au kuongea na wewe, unajua si yote sema tu kuongea. Yuko kona hizo kwa kona call logs. Eh wako nasema tu ni call kuniuliza kama niliitwa hivyo. Eh. eh. Mm. Uh, okay okay wewe well, lakini uh, so huko ulizo hiyo mstana ulipeleka huko mimi hiyo ilikuwa biashara yangu ati kuanza kuwasukua kwa kusema ati wewe tulimin kupeleka huko sio ndio wao wanafanya investigation si si licha ya ushahidi wa kutosha jicho pevu sasa imebaini kuwa polisi aidha hawakutaka au wanazuia ripoti ya uchunguzi na mienendo ya mwisho wa Jacob Juma kupitia kampuni za simu kuonyesha Simu zote zilizokuwa zikimfuata kwa karibu Jacob Juma kutoka Westlands hadi barabara ya Ngong aliko uawa. Kuna uwezekano waliomuua Juma wangea chalama kwenye mitandao inayofuatilia na kuna kili laini za simu kudhibitisha kwamba walikuwa katika eneo alipouliwa. Bila shaka Hali hiyo ingekuwa ushahidi wa kutosha kwa polisi kuwatia nguvuni wauaji. Lakini kwa sababu ambazo hazieleweki, swala hilo limesalia kuwa kitendawili wiki mbili baada ya kuwa wa kwa mfanyabiashara huyo. Not all cameras are working in town. Some I mean some they might have some reasons for not working. Mbali na kamera Asubuhi ya kuripotiwa mauaji eneo la mkasa alikuwa na maganda ya risasi lakini siku sita baadaye polisi walitangaza kupata maganda mawili ya risasi on the 10th may 2016 the investigations investigators investigation team revisited the scene in the company of 27 other officers drawn from various stations and the crime scene support service personnel And with the assistance of advanced data equi- detector equipment they managed to recover two spent cartridges of an AK47 rifle and the same were forwarded to a ballistic uh, uh, section for analysis. Jee, yalitoka wapi na yalifika vipi hapa? Katika taarifa yake hapo awali mkurugenzi wa CID Ndegwa Muhoro alionekana kushindwa kuelezea walivyompoteza Jacob Juma hapa Tratoria kando na kutoa taarifa za kutatanisha ambayo ni tofauti sana na ushahidi wa picha za CCTV At 2014 hours he was captured at Agusquethek Road along Agusquethek Road near Center Trans Ole Odume Road Picha hizi za CCTV zinaonyesha kuwa Jacob Juma mara ya mwisho alionekana akiwa peke yake ndani ya gari akielekea Yaya Center akitokea barabara ya Ole Dume 
na wala si alivyoelezea mkurugenzi wa CID Ndegwa Muhoro Iwapo kulikuwa na uwezekano wa Juma kutumia barabara ya Oledume kuingia barabara ya Ngong basi waliomuua walikuwa wamempangia vizuri na mapema na kujua kuwa katika barabara hiyo hapakuwa na kamera za CCTV hivyo basi kufanikisha mauaji hayo Wanao mfahamu Juma wanasema kuwa yeye alikuwa makini na alikuwa akitumia sana barabara ya Langata kwa sababu ya msongamano wa magari ili mradi iwe ngumu kwa maadui zake kumshambulia. Tayari picha za CCTV zilizomnasa Jacob Juma kuanzia Yaya Center zimetoweka katika njia isiyoeleweka. Picha ambazo zingeliwatambua wauaji wa Jacob Juma. Hadi kufikia wa sasa haijabainika wazi ni nani aliyetoa amri ya kutoweka kwa picha hizo. Mingairi na polisi kusema kuwa picha za CCTV zilimnasa hapo katika bustani ya Uhuru Park mkabala na hoteli ya Serena dakika mbili baadaye kabla ya kuingia katika barabara ya Nyerere. Polisi wameshindwa kuelezea ni vipi marehemu walifaulu kuendesha gari lake kutoka mzunguko wa jumba la nyayo kurudi tena hadi mzunguko wa barabara ya chuo kikuu hadi jumba la yaya bado pia imekuwa kizungumkuti kwa polisi kuelezea iwapo Jacob Juma alitumia barabara ya processional au aliendesha gari lake na kubweta mkono wa kushoto kuingia barabara ya Lenana kabla ya kufika Yaya Center Uchunguzi wetu unaonesha pia waliomuua walitumia mbinu za kisasa na za kiusalama kumtesa na kumuua Jacob Juma kabla ya kuubwaga mwili wake katika barabara ya Ngong. Katika ripoti ya upasuaji Jacob Juma alipigwa risasi kama tatu hivi kwa karibu takriban futi sita hadi saba hivi. Risasi ya kwanza ilimpiga shingoni na kutokea kwenye mapafu. Huku ya pili ikimpiga kwenye kifua na kutokea chini ya mgongo karibu na mapafu. Mkono wa Jacob Juma ulikuwa umepasuliwa na risasi ya AK47. Akijaribu kujikinga na makachinja hao walioonekana kumuua kwa karibu. Ripoti ya mwanapathologia vile vile inaonesha kwamba waliomuua ni watu walio na ufahamu wa kiusalama. Makisio haya yametiwa uzito na madai ya kiongozi wa kode Raila Odinga kwamba idara ya polisi ina kikosi maalum cha wauaji. Lakini polisi wamepinga madai ya maafisa kuhusishwa kwenye mauaji hayo. This is a hit script that is known that has been used in all those other murders that have been here. Every Muslim, if you want to arrest him, he knows where they are. But we know because the orders came from above him. That's the reason why this has happened. Check of me, this is going to happen. All of us knew it was going to happen. But are we going to allow ourselves to live in a nation that is led by murderers and thieves? Will Kenyans stand up and be counted and demand the nations of civilized mankind? Their life is valued and counts. But their life of a human being is like that life of a dog or a sheep. If by chance it happens that a police officer is involved in causing the death of this gentleman, then that police officer would be treated like any other criminal. Mkurugenzi mkuu wa CID Ndegwa Muhoro sasa anasema kuwa maafisa wake wanazidi kuendelea na uchunguzi licha ya kushindwa kuelezea safari ya mwisho ya Jacob Juma kutoka katikati mwa jiji hadi barabara ya Ngong kama alivyoelezea kutoka Westland hadi katikati mwa jiji The analysis of the deceased communication was done which has prompted the investigators to summon 
and interview several persons who are either in communication with the deceased or with the deceased. Among them was a lady whom we believe to have been and the one captured on CCTV footage together with the deceased in his motor vehicle. We managed to trail the lady uh, who recorded a statement and indicated that the deceased dropped her around uh, Tratoria around 8 that evening. From your statement you're saying you lose the female passenger in Jacob Juma's car at some point. Mm -hmm. And then you, the lady tells you that she was dropped somewhere near Trattoria. There are seven cameras near Trattoria area. Mm -hmm. What are they telling you? Those cameras, uh, we had to get them, uh, something out of them. What I can say is that um, through phone tracking, at least we can, we can pick that moment. And even the time that are given. And we're not saying, we're not saying that uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are, we are taking the story as it is. There are some other processes that are, we, are, we are carrying out in terms of analysis, which will inform on the, ne the next course of action. Mr. Mr. Degwa, um, all the way from Oyaki Way into town, you can clearly see Jacob Juma has an occupant in his car. Mm. But you're telling us you lose him at some point with a female passenger, and then the female passenger tells you she was dropped outside Trattoria. There are cameras there, the city council cameras there. The cameras, absolutely seven of them near Trattoria area. What are they telling you that you have not told me? I've stated very clearly, and I get my point on Sarigo, that not all cameras are working in town. Some, I mean, some, they might have some reasons for not working. What we have picked so far, and we are not done as yet, we are still looking at all the cameras that are that are in certain positions which I believe to have been the route that was taken by, by, the, by the deceased. So as, as, as at that point, I can say that uh, we haven't seen anything, uh, we haven't looked at those cameras, we're going to be looking at them. Uh, because uh, there are quite a, uh, several cameras and you pick uh, based on what it picked. I mentioned about uh, the auto number plate, uh, auto, automated number plate recognition that would give you the direction, the, the direction that uh, the, 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 the deceased moved. So those are some of the areas we'll be looking at. Licha ya kutuelezea mipango maalumu ya kikosi chake, kuwahoji baadhi ya washuki wa kadhaa, ndegu wa muhoro, alishindwa kuelezea iwapo amewahoji watu waliotajwa katika mtandao na marehemu, kabla ya kuwa wakwake, na aliodai kuwa walikuwa na nia na njama ya kumuangamiza. Aidha baada ya kifo chake baadhi ya jumbe zake za mwisho mwisho kwenye mtandao wa Twitter zilizokuwa zimewataja baadhi ya watu wanaomwandama zimefutwa The late Jacob Juma before his death mentioned the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya William Samoei Ruto as the person who is obsessed with killing him have you summoned the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya Allow me not to answer that question okay Allow me not to answer that question, yes. Mr. Mohoro, why is it difficult for you to tell us whether you have summoned the deputy president or not, and it is easy for you to tell us that you have spoken to some of the people who you've mentioned in the investigations. Have you summoned the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya? The ones that will be summoning will be seeing the many. In any case, it's not all of uh, the witnesses. Some have requested that you go to the, to the offices. We have done that. Until such a point I uh, will determine that uh, so and so XYZ is a suspect, that becomes a totally different story altogether. Are you looking at the case of the Twitter? The tweets that Jacob Juma tweeted? On the daily, I've just responded to that, that question. It is a very simple question. Did you summon the DP or not? Yes or no? That's what I'm just asking. A very simple question. Yes, Angela? Angira, ask, ask your question. You haven't answered my question. I just want to know whether you have summoned the DP or not. That's it. Why not others? Why aren't, why aren't you asking about others? I mean, the others will be summoning uh, uh, witnesses. Will be summoning uh, people with things of information that can assist us I respect that, in the investigations. My question is about the DP, not others. You've already answered me about the others. 
There's nothing that will stop us from uh, from uh, recording a statement. Nothing would stop us from recording the statement. You haven't answered me. Past. Have you summoned him or not? Okay, let's hear from uh, Angira. Licha ya mkurugenzi wa CID kusema kuwa uchunguzi bado unaendelea. Shingoni na mkononi mwa marehemu wakati wa upasuaji kulipatikana kitambaa kinachotumiwa kutibu majeraha. Hivyo basi kuashiria kuwa kuna mtu alikuwa akimsaidia au waliomuua walikuwa akitumia kitambara hicho kuzuia kufuja kwa damu kabla ya kumfikisha katika eneo la mauaji hapangong na kumwacha afe kifo cha polepole wanao fanya kazi ya ujenzi katika barabara hii ya ngong wakati wa tukio hilo wanasimulia zaidi Gari la Jacob Juma lilikuwa na zaidi ya risasi saba ya AK47 na iwapo lilipigwa risasi saba basi kuna uwezekano wa hali ya juu kwa wafanyikazi hawa kusikia milio ya risasi nyingine zilizosalia na gari zinakwanga mingi mingi tu hata usiku gari ni mingi zinakwanga ndio wakati wao vinapungua ni kitu toa saa sita hivi saa saba saa nane lakini saa tatu saa nne gari bado ni mingi Licha ya polisi kushindwa kuelezea ni kwa nini mwili na gari la Jacob Juma liliburutwa hadi kituo cha polisi cha Karen na kukaa hapo kabla ya kupeleka maiti yake katika chumba cha kuhifadhia maiti cha siti sana nikasoro dakika moja za usiku tulikutana na dereva aliyeitwa kuvuta gari hilo kutoka eneo la mkasa tulikuwa na bili ndani ndani ya gari ndani ya gari ndani tukaambiwa tukaeka hapo wakafanya mambo zao wakatoa mwili na barua zingine alafu wakatuambia tuvute gari mwili ilikuwa uliona mwili wewe Mwenye walitoa ndiyo nilicheki lakini sitakangi kuona dead people na gari yenyewe nana lingia nani kwa ni kwa drive unajua uwezi kutakai kwa kwa drive lazima ujisirigeti kwanza ingia neutral ndiyo ujute gari ni kwa run inji nama hiki inji ni likuwa imezima lakini mataa bado zikuwa zimaaka So, mshandika statement tangu? Ya, tunandika Kukua 3 days from that Kukua 3 days from that Akiwa katika hali ya kubadilisha gia ya gari Jamaa huyu alitatizo na jambo fulani Siku guza damu, lakini kumikuwa na damu Mengi kido Mika vile, umetiku kwa jipanguzi ya Let's say kwe haki jipanguzi ya Play CV kidam, something like that. Or si damu damu ilati. Ilati Greek kabisa. Iwapo Jacob Juma alipigwari sasi sabandani ya gari, basi ni kwa nini apa kuwa na damu ya mtu aliyepigwari sasi hizo? Ni kwa nini? Kiti alichokalia na viti vingine havikuwa na alama ya risasi hata baada ya kupigwa shingoni kifuani na kutokea upande wa pili wa nyuma pamoja na mkononi Saa sita baada ya mauaji ya Jacob Juma ndio polisi walipeleka mwili wa Jacob Juma wakitumia gari lao hadi chumba cha kuhifadhia maiti cha siti Jay, 
kwa muda huo wote walikuwa akifanya nini na mwili wa Jacob Juma We have come uh, from very far with him from humble beginning and God has been good to us Jacob Juma Lukoba amezikwa akiwa na siri kuu aliyokuwa akitaka kuwaelezea watu wawili wa mwisho aliyokuwa akitaka kuzungumza nao Raila Odinga na balozi fulani wa nje humu nchini Muhammad Ali makala ya jichopevu KTN